visitor from the grave. Open up. No, you're in the room. Come on, open the door. Open up, come on, open the door. Who the hell are you? Where's Harry? I want him. He? Where is he? Please. No, what do you want? I told you I want Harry. He owes me. He's not here. He's not here. Get out of here. Get out of here? He owes me. No, no, you wouldn't. Penny, darling? Penny, what's happened? Are you right, darling? What is it? Penny, tell me. What happened? Harry, I think I killed him. Who? Who is he? He broke in. I don't know. Are you hurt? No. I'll tell you what we do. He tried. He grabbed me. And he tried, tried to wait, 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 Penny. Listen to me. You must tell me what happened. Oh, God, Harry, stay there. Harry, don't leave me. We've got to find him. No, I can't stay here alone. Oh, please, he can't have got a far bleeding like that. Come over here. Penny, please, come over here. Tell you killed Charles Willoughby. Who is he? Just somebody I knew. I used to do business with him. Come on. I'll, I'll do you good. My pills, I want my pills. You know what doctor said about that? I need one after this. Okay, okay, okay. For God's sake, Harry. I need more than one after this. Listen, Penny, you mustn't crack. This is where you show. You've got to do things licked. I'm here now. That's my girl, Harry. What are you going to do? You're going to get dressed. And you're going to clean up this house. I'll see that to, like, while I'm doing it. You can strip the bed. I'll burn the bed clothes. And I see every spot of blood in the house. Every spot, but never come near this cottage. You never set eyes on Charlie Willoughby. Never. But couldn't we, couldn't I please self-defense? You're trying to rape me. Penny in this country, private citizens are not allowed to have guns. They should have a license. You left it for me, Harry. It's your gun, exactly. Harry, call the police, please. Look, you do, they do me for giving you the gun, and they'll probably put you away again. No, they couldn't. Oh, yes, they could. They'll put you back in that place, somewhere worse. Bulmer, probably? Bulmer, the hospital, criminally insane. Oh, okay, then. Be a good girl and do exactly what I tell you. Right. What are you, what are you doing? I just put the car on the lake. Nobody will find it there. Oh, Harry, I'm so scared. Oh, you'll be all right. As long as we keep our heads, uh, there'll be no problem. Are you sure? Couldn't stand it if they put me away again. You okay now? You're well again. Make sure you stay that way. Right, because if Mummy and Daddy find out, they take me back to the state. Shh, they'll be find out. You took me, they got me to look after you now. But you don't have, but you won't, won't, won't have, unless I get one of those, those these wet cloths off before I catch my death. Harry, who was really, who was he really? I told you. Just somebody you needed, used to do business with. What kind of business? There's one with some connection with you. There's no connection with you. He's a punter, a gambler. I met him while I was working with Cooper at Kremsamar. Did he have anything to do with you being fired? No, of course not. You said you owed him. Yes, that was right. It was a bet, okay? There wouldn't be any record. Do you want one? No. I had an appeal, remember? Oh, yes. You don't have you. We can't have you blowing your mind in town. Her town? Harry, I can't go out. We have an appointment at the bank, I remember. A bank. I can't talk to a bank manager. Can't face anybody. Not today. You have to. Look, if it's my money, is that important to you? Oh, sudden money. Don't care less about it. You have an appointment. You have to keep, got to keep it. You have to do anything, uh, everything exactly as normal. Exactly. Everything exactly. Harry, Harry, Harry. Harry, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, you damn you. Wake up. He's back. He's come back. Him. He's on the, he's at the cottage. He's dead, Penny. I buried him. You said you put his car on the lake, too. Park that side. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Hey, you there. Hello. Hold on a minute, will you? Penny, Penny, where are you going? What are you doing, darling? You spoil everything. The police, they know if, this, if they did. If they did, darling. You would have sent more than a visit Boppy with his little panda car. Act normally. All right. Oh, good night. Right. All right. Good morning, officer. Morning. Sorry about that. All oh, that. Morning, sir. Mr. Rose, yes. Mr. Will, Harry Rose, yes. What's wrong that night? 
The young lady, Penny, 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 Ben Burton. The United States, Connecticut. Look, is something you wanted? Yes. It was, it was you I wanted to speak to, actually, Mr. Wells. And perhaps you'd like to come up to the cottage. Please sit down. Thank you. Would you like a drink? Thank you. No, sir. Penny. What, officer? What is it? What is you wanted to talk to me about? A man called Willoughby. Mr. Wells? Charles Willoughby. Charlie? What's he been up to now? I hope you write. You don't tell me. You know Mr. Willoughby? Willoughby? He's a friend of yours. I know him. What did you, you, when did you last see Mr. Willoughby? Oh, that would have been a week ago, I think. Yes, last Saturday morning. Was it, was that? Where was that? Sasha's wine bar in Covent Garden. I was having a drink of friends, Charles. Came in while I was there. I see. I was saying you had words with him at that time. Look, what's this? What's Harry supposed to have done? If you don't mind, Miss Dolly? Are you right? Yeah, I'm okay. You're sure, sure, I'm okay. Miss Van Burton isn't been well. In fact, she's been still contemplating. I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing serious, Hope. Oh, no, no. She's all right now. That's why she came here. She needs peace and quiet, you understand? Have you seen Mr. Willoughby since, not, since last Saturday? No. Should I have done? Two nights ago, he said he was coming down here to sort you out, apparently. Well, it sounds like the lovable Charles. I think it, he didn't arrive. No, at least, as far as I know. I was away in business two nights ago. Francis Van Houten was here on his on own. May I ask you where you were exactly? No, I beg your pardon. You may may, may ask, but I don't have to tell you. Let's hope that won't be useless, sir. Would you, you don't, would you mind com, coming to the point? Please, Mr. Willoughby. I, was, I uh, has not been seen since he left London, so he was coming down to sort you out. Penny did everyone come, did, Penny, did anyone come here? Down here? No, nobody at all. I haven't seen a soul to, uh, you came home yesterday morning, not a soul? I'm sorry we couldn't help you. You've been in great help. What do you mean, elimination? What? What do you mean, eliminate every possibility in investigation? It's not, as Holmes home said, you are, uh, you're limited possible. Whatever means, however improbable, must be the truth. Very impressive. You should have been an actor. Thank you, sir. That's what my inspector says. Oh, by the way, Miss Van Houten, Burton. Yes, you're going, you weren't going back to America for a while, are you? No, I wasn't good. If you, if you think of going away, either you, you let me, us know first, won't you? Harry, we're not going anywhere. I told you, Miss Van Burton, he's peace and quiet. They know. Peace, they know. They don't know anything. Now keep calm and don't panic. I'm not going back to the introduction again. I'm not. Ain't nobody's going to put you away again, Penny. Just do everything I tell you. Don't buy your way out of this trouble. And no matter how much money you've got, what are we going to do? We're going to behave as nothing has happened. We're not going to panic. 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 Tonight we're going to Margaret Toby's party. No, I couldn't. We must. We must. You might even enjoy it. Where's the wine? What's happened to my waiters? you hide waiters and drink the wine themselves. Why are you look so sad, my dear? This is a party, a Margaret's party. Everyone must be happy. Happy? Oh, where's your drink? You don't you haven't even got a drink. Harry's giving me one. Harry? You with Harry? No wonder you look so sad. What are you looking at? Laughing at? You old she goat? About you, of course. What else should we be laughing about? Oh, he calls me a she goat. He's a wolf from the mountains, this one. Truly, I believe he's sold his devil, sold, so he's sold to the devil. You don't believe me? How else could anyone so ugly, a lucky child, manage to get a beautiful woman like yourself? Do you really believe that, Margaret, my love? I might just decide to put a hex in you. Oh, impossible. I'm a protected species, didn't you know that? Hey, is that wine you got there? Good. Give me, give, give one glass to this lovely girl. One glass to Margaret. What about me? What about you? You get yourself another one. Off you go. Go on. Why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? I'm not. Listen, please. You're not no use buying to me. I know. I know these things. But, I, but I do. But do I can, but do I can tell you're in trouble? 
Is it him? No, no. So much problems. So much happiness inside. Oh, come on, sit down with Margaret and tell me about it. Come on. Let Carl tell me yourself. Yourself. Your circumstances at the present time. The missionaire de Mou. The terror struck by lightning. Yes, calamity, adversity, misery. I see. Don't tell me any more. No, no, you must go on. You must complete the reading. The next card is concerned with people around you. People gave you a f- might have effect on you. Jewel on the high priestess. Wisdom, understanding. The next card is in emotions. The fears and hope, hopes and fears. I was right, wasn't I? What I told you, I knew. No more death, destruction. What are you doing? Trying to scare a half out of a witch? Come on, Penny, that's enough. Wait, wait, you haven't heard of his final result. I don't think you want to either. Never mind, I already saw it. I said, well, that's enough. Don't forget, you are in the prayer preachers. All right, Donnie. Yes, I'm fine. Could I have another drink? Go easy now. It's all right. I haven't had a pill since this morning. Okay, then. Look, there's the water. <coughs> okay, here's water. Oh, Harry, it's him, it's him. I told you I saw him. Hey, it's him. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. Hey, I saw him, look. Good morning, Donnie. What have you been doing? I thought I'd just bag us some pigeons for a pie. No luck. I'm afraid. No. Are you okay? No. Harry, I'm not going to out of my mind, am I? No, darling, of course not. I did see him. I saw him in the bedroom. I saw him at a party. He was walking. He must have got out of the grave somehow. I know it, Penny. It's not possible. I buried him. You know that. Harry, I'm not, I was really scared. I don't want to be haunted by the thing all my life. You know I know nothing about ghosts or any of that. Jogan? What? The high priestess? I didn't know what you mean talking about. High priestess means wisdom and understanding. Margaret, well, no, you know what to do. Margaret, you mean Margaret Tory? Harry, take me to her. Please take me to her. Penny, I'm so glad you decided to come. It's all right. No one else here. I was sorry about last night. I knew you were in trouble. Don't tell, didn't I tell you? Go on, sit down. Harry, is there, there is some coffee in the kitchen? I went through that. I, I'll, I'm through there. Go and make three cups. Go on, go on, Penny. I'll be right. Now tell me, what's the trouble of being haunted? By someone you know? Yes, of course. Yes, sort of. He died in an accident violently. Yes, I see. You need help? Yes, I do. Is there so physical? There is a physical presence. Do you see him? Yes. I saw him at the party last night. I see him in the cottage. It's horrible. Did he die in the cottage? You would have like a drink? No. I'm taking pills. You don't mix, and they don't mix with alcohol. Can you get rid of him for me? Perhaps. Perhaps not. I will hold a seance before I can tell you that. Anything I don't care. Here, if you like. Now, can you do that now? Steady, steady, my dear. How to prepare myself for such an ordeal? Get on my mind, to gather my strength. Then and when, come back tomorrow. We'll see what can be done. The possible parking is downtown. Look at it. Dull yellow lines everywhere. It's all right. I need a bit of walk anyway. Oh, it's all nonsense. Has to be the whole damn spiritualist area. One big con, I don't care. If, I, if it gets rid of Charlie, I don't care. You really are crazy. Don't say that to me. I don't you ever, do you hear? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, don't mean it. Harry, I'm sorry. Okay, let's not fight. Let's not fight. Okay. Whatever well, makes you happy. Where are you going? To the dry cleaners to pick up my trousers. Why haven't you, why didn't you have a look around? I'll be back in a moment. Harry, 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 look. Harry, I saw him. No matter, I saw him in the car. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Come on. I saw him. Harry. I saw him. He was home. You don't believe me. You think I'm making it up. I'm telling you, he's not, not dead. Stay here, Harry. Harry, where are we? You. What are you doing? Proving to you once of all that there, Penny. You just sit there, Harry. I don't want to, 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 any part of this. Then go in the other room and keep quiet. I understand. No interruptions. No interference. Listen, Margaret. Harry, please. Okay. What is his name? His name... Charlie Charles Willoughby, concentrate for me. Charles Willoughby, Charles Willoughby, are you there? Are you there? I am here. What do you want for this love and revenge? I want revenge, no. I revenge Charles Willoughby. I charge you to leave her alone. Go to your rest. Do you hear, Penny? Hey, here you are. Thank you. I'll be all right. Take it easy there. That's better. She's in danger, Harry. What are you talking about? Penny's in grave danger. This bit's evil, wicked. Leave it, Margaret. I can't. Margaret, you've got to help me. I'm not strong enough. But then who? Oh, my dear. You need someone of great, great powers. You must know somebody. 
There is only one medium I know with significant power. He's over here last year, trying to set up the English centre. Who is he? Shema Salami Gappa Skisina, an Indian. He's best in the world. It was great treasury, but he couldn't raise the money for the English centre. Can you help him? I can try, but at least last I heard, it's the southwest area, Asia. Please, Margaret, I've got to try to find him. I'll pay you whatever it costs. Steady on. Who cares about money, for peace sake? I'm talking about my sanity. Okay, darling, keep calm. Margaret, I see what I can do. Hello, hello. Is this Harry Wells? Oh, oh, hello, Margaret. You have? She's located in Salami. Right. When did he come in? What? Hold on, Margaret. He's in India. He doesn't want to come. He must. He must. How much does he want? I don't think it's a question of how much. Hang on, Margaret. Tell him I'll pay you for whatever he wants. I'll give him the money he wants to open his English centre. Margaret, how much is he short of? I'll find his centre. Find his centre over here. Pew is sort of short of 150 grand. Oh, what? I'll give him about 150,000 for his centre. If he, he'll just catch the next flight from the end of Heathrow. Indian Salami Geshek Skisina. Indian, Indian, just checking. Checking? There's nowhere they can hide a trick, uh, any trick apparatus. Harry, don't you think I can go through with this? Not too late now, no. I'm really am scared. Honest. Come on, move now. Harry, I need a pill. I've got to have one. Okay, just one. Watch it now. Come on, Margaret. Penny. There, 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 here. Penny, penny. excellent. This room will do very well. You sit there. Are you, Miss Margaret? There. You may sit wherever you please. Everywhere else in the room. Could we have a little music, please? Could you please stir a tower music? Lights, please. Please concentrate on me only, Miss Burton. Burton. Clear your mind completely of anything else. Who is it that's troubling you? Do I have to say his name? Yes. So I can call him from the eternal resting place. His name is Charles Willoughby. Did he pass over? About two weeks ago. About eleven days. How did he die? Do you know? Was it natural causes? No, he was killed. Did you kill him? Yes, very well. Please do as I tell you. Concentrate on only on me. Charles Willoughby, Charles Willoughby. I saw you to appear before us. Everybody, do you hear me? I summon you not to appear before me. Who calls me? It is I, Sami Gavata Kisha. Why do you disturb me? Go depart this place. I will be avenged. I will be avenged. I will be avenged, Penny. It's all right. Come on, Penny, darling. Let me in. Open up, will you? Victoria, Victoria Bravo. Put him out to the hospital. Roger, out. They're gone. Oh, boy. Where's the money? Yes. 150,000. 150 lovely smackers. Oh, poor little sucker. Oh, she was a born loser. All the same. I'm sorry she went and blew her head off. 37,000 says you're not that sorry. Anyway, you nearly blew it. What was you talking about? Yes. You, when you were playing the policeman, as Sherlock Holmes said. You when you limited the possible. Whatever means, however improbable, must be the truth. Well, that too, after all, please, no, Akamari. I'm thankful I shouldn't have to lie in the woods. In the, I'm thankful I shouldn't have to lie in the woods. Stinking makeup more, anymore. The stinking makeup anymore. <laughs>